balance i remember many years ago i went to preach somewhere it was not a very comfortable place at all after i was done preaching something happened to me i don't know whether it was the water my face broke out i mean it was it was almost like a mess i was looking like i see that i was not a human being that was when i learned about something called the reproach of christ this is our generation huh? we need to sit down with the fathers to teach us there is something we don't know at all that is making our christian experience incomplete we need to go back through history and find out what people went through to bring the gospel why would someone leave the u.s and the comfort and everything and come into a land where people are eating themselves up he's not even sure he will go back when he was leaving he told the wife look kiss me goodbye for the last time because you may not see me and some of them were right they never went back i read i watched the story of fiji island get the documentary of fiji island very small island but the revival in fiji island i watched it and it, it blessed me many years ago they killed some of the missionaries who came there butchered those people and killed them they were trying to present this jesus and they were people because behind them is satan i told you men cannot get angry on on their own beyond a certain threshold no no according to the kind of anger men have before the sun goes down they should stop being angry that's the one that even god approved because there's a dimension of that anger that is useful so god left it but that when a man sustains certain levels of rage and anger is being empowered by a spirit you see why the bible says by this shall all men know there is an evidence when you have love i hope i didn't stand here to just sound arrogant i'm sorry if, if for any reason you you perceive this but let me tell you this if the body and the bride we think would take on the world is the one that does not know these things we are teaching there will be a fatal defeat until we come back to mentor the body aright there are so many things we do not know i am telling you there are so many things we have not seen we must once again hold on to the four horns of the altar and lay down our pride and say lord they call me a celebrity i drop that nonsense right now and i focus on an agenda god opened our eyes through the pandemic to see uh, the amateurism in our building not to condemn us but so that we will return with brokenness there is no revival that does not start with genuine repentance repentance is not just repentance from sin is repentance from a wrong architecture a disalignment let every man be careful how he build it because the fire will come to test our works and when that fire blows upon our years of ministry you will find out that 30 years what will be left will not be equal to one week of impact we must trust god for grace to redefine the parameters that spell success for us in this kingdom we must trust god for a redefinition as a corporate people it's time to mature it's time to grow it is to this end that he gave unto some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and pastors and teachers why for the maturing of the saints so that the saints now being matured will do the work of the ministry to the end that all of us as a corporate entity will come into the fullness of the stature of the measure of christ the bible says not tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine and the slight of men wherein they lie to deceive it's time to wake up there are many things we need to wake up from the thing about the school of the spirit is that god is patient enough he will repeat the lessons even if it's for 40 years god is a god of speed but he does not rush we need to sustain grace to stay 
every generation stayed till they got it right except our own we're in a rush for everything a rush to be called this to be called that no it is they that wait upon the lord and i trust that god put this as a burden in the heart of his servant pastor daily to be able to once again give the body of christ a chance to say god is calling us to deeper levels god is not calling us into a celebrity lifestyle of men of god thank god for that there are dimensions of honor in the body and they must be accorded as needed but this marketing of flesh and this carnality that is eating of the body of christ eroding our focus and our concentration on the things that truly matter something is wrong